Tuesday, May 8, 2012. Temperature is about 70 degrees with sunny skies. Today, Lothar Propson has rented a car to take us to Rittersdorf to see where the Propson family ancestors came from. Rittersdorf is a small German country town of about 1,000 people, close to the Belgian and Luxembourg borders. I use this way nearly every weekend. Really? Yeah. On the way, we had our first ride on the German Autobahn, where there is no speed limit. Lothar got up to 180 kilometers per hour, which is about 112 miles per hour. They came for a variety of reasons. They came to escape population pressure, religious persecution, poverty, and famine. America was the new world, a place with new jobs, cheap land, a chance for a new start in life, a place where they could be free. The new steam-powered ships made the voyage faster and cheaper. From the mid-1800s to the early 1900s, Nearly 25 million Europeans made the voyage. Germans made up a huge percentage of European immigrants. Between 1850 and 1930, about 5 million Germans immigrated to the United States, with a peak in the years between 1881 and 1885, when a million Germans left Germany and settled mostly in the Midwest. Today, some 50 million people living in the United States claim to have German ancestry, or 17% of the U.S. population, which is the country's largest self-reported ancestral group. Upper Midwestern states, such as Minnesota and Wisconsin, have the highest proportion of German Americans at over one-third. My wife Susan's great-great-grandfather, Matthias Propson, was born in Rittersdorf, Germany on October 6, 1840. The Propson family in Rittersdorf can be traced all the way back to the 1200s. The Propsons worked in the timber industry. In the 1870s, Matthias Propson and three of his cousins, along with his future wife Barbara Vey, immigrated to the United States. Matthias and Barbara were married in Chicago in 1874. They had 10 children. Their fifth child, Albert, Susan's great-grandfather, was born in Calumet County, Wisconsin on April 23, 1886. Calumet County is a strip of land between Lake Michigan and the eastern shore of Lake Winnebago, just across the lake from Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Albert was a farmer and bricklayer. He married Louise Schwab on January 10, 1911. They had two children, Sylvester and Erasmus. Sylvester, Susan's grandfather, was born on October 29, 1911. Sylvester, or Cy as everyone called him, moved to Madison, Wisconsin to go to the university and become a pharmacist. His parents were not happy that he wanted to leave the farm. He married Lorna Zimke on September 14, 1934 in Waukegan, Illinois. They lived in Madison and La Crosse and then settled in Oshkosh where he owned Propson Pharmacy. Lorna owned and operated Lori's Beauty Shop for many years. She was also a registered nurse. They had two children, Gail and Richard. Richard is Susan's father. Richard Propson was born on September 17, 1937. He married Gloria File, who was also a German descendant from Oshkosh. They had four children, Susan, Mark, Greg, and Kurt. Richard and Gloria moved to Princeton, Minnesota, where they are still living to this day. Now, 
now, some 140 years after Matthias Propson immigrated to the United States, Richard and Susan get to see the very place where their ancestors had lived for centuries. We then visited Riddersdorf Castle a few blocks away. The castle dates back to 1263. The 85-foot tower was built by King Rudolf of Habsburg in 1290 as a seven-story residential tower. Today there is a small museum of local history and a registry office for the municipality of Bitburgland. There is also a privately owned restaurant in the castle.